Hi, welcome to Nevin's Lab and now we're going to review the VLS Ragnarok. I bought this from Vanilla Vapes and it comes in a rather tasty leather box and when you open it up that's what you get inside. It's a mechanical mod, 24 millimeters. It's 304L stainless steel, peak insulators, copper telescopic pin, copper telescopic bottom pin, recessed spring loaded switch with locking ring, uh, vented switch, individually sterilized. And the reason I bought this is because I wanted something that was going to not look quite so awful with my big sub tank on it. And this is 25 mils, this is 24 mils, so I figured that it was going to be a closer match than my other mechanical mods. So that's the reason I bought it. And We'll do some close-ups and I'll show you what it was like. That's the VLS Ragnarok, rather nice leather box with red stitching. Really is quite special but as packaging goes. Uh, that's just it's, it's padded it's got an embossed VLS on there and the red stitching as I said lovely you open it up to reveal uh, again nice padded interior and your three tubes 18350 tube 18500 extension, 18650 extension, the top cap and the button. The button's got a rather nice engraving on it. Ragnarok VLS. Do like that. You've got uh, 3054 on the side there. Oh yes, and See that? Vapor life style. I've really gone in for the details, I, I like that. So the first impression you get when you pick it up is the weight. Because it takes the 1800 size batteries, they, they, so they haven't um, they haven't gone for a standard thickness of of steel and made the battery wobble around inside you've still got a reasonably nice tight tube for your battery so to get to 24 millimeters it's got a really nice thick steel um, it's really nice in your hand very tactile you see those threads they're just they're gorgeous really smooth I can't feel any burring on them at all uh, the machining on this is absolutely excellent um, so it is I didn't tell you the price did I it is 59.99 so 60 pounds that's a just it's, it's stunning it really is put it together and the threads are quite fine but once you find the thread it's just like you can't hear that listen and put it right up to the mic so I've held that right up to the mic it really is the threads on this are like silk really nice chamfered join there 
makes for a nice finish and top cap oh, put those bits to one side top cap first see the standard twin screw for adjusting for different atties and battery rattle as I said the reason I bought this is for the sub tank so I'm going to adjust it for that okay and we'll and the button uh, this comes apart I'll just show you I'll take it apart so you can see might as well everything just screws apart really smoothly so there we go really nice machining on there left hand thread which confuses me every time so you can, you can see just I can't see really any faults on any of the threads no burrs no um, machining marks it's uh, really impressed for 60 pounds uh, I'm just so impressed the button so yeah, a small spring on there So this is this button is adjustable. What I've noticed is that you can you can adjust this. I don't know what I'm talking about. Listen to the more experienced reviewers. But anyway, that adjusts. I'm going to leave it tightened up. The button is just really smooth push it on the edge and it fires just as smoothly as pushing it in the middle pushing that right on the edge and when it's not binding it's not sticking brilliant so I'm going to put it that way around I guess I should say it, the locking ring everything's smooth the battery so I'm going to put a flat top battery in I have been playing with this the only thing I've noticed is with the flat top battery you need to undo this quite a way and and that's the only if I could find anything to mention that's the only thing is once you've undone this far enough for a flat top you've got a bit of a wobble on there but I'm really picking now Okay, battery rattle taken out. Uh, 
and there you have it with the sub tank on there I'll show you again on the um, on the webcam but you can see there that it's not bad it's not 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 bad um, overlap so for the purpose I bought it this this uh, sub tanks really not looking too bad nowhere near um, the way it looked on my 22 mil mods I'm just gonna put so this is the dripper that I just reviewed I'm just gonna pop that on there so you can see one of the other features it it does have a chamfer on the on the top cap there which, which takes it down to 22 mils so you can put your standard 22 mil atty on there and it's really that looks rather nice actually with the x pure on there so we'll come up top and we'll have a little vape and close it off hi um right second time recording this bit i hope i remember to say everything i said last time um so there it is uh, the vls ragnarok with a sub tank on it um looking rather nice i'd say there's a little bit of a step but it's really not not much. Uh, let's have a vape. that's really nice it feels good in your hand the button is smooth as you like as I said before the threads are amazing for 60 quid if you're looking for a mechanical mod with a quality build you, just, you can't go wrong you really for me for my money you cannot go wrong with that especially if you've got the big sub tank and you're looking for a tube mod to put it on um, and if you've got 22 mil mods it's not going to give me my tank back now is it that's my fault for doing it up too tight 22 mil mod. I'm uh, sorry, 22 mil atty. I really do talk nonsense sometimes. Do ignore me. I don't know. It's not really a very good drip tip on it, but there you can see the Atlantis. Make it focus on that. You can see there's a little bit of a step on there. The chamfer takes it to 22 mils. That's that's fine. It's, it's not going to fire because the pin is shorter on this atty. Can I adjust it? Why not? While I'm doing this, um, on the Vanilla Vapes website, there's also a copper version of this for 79.99 yep 79.99 um 99 red copper looks rather tasty so if you're after a copper mod same dimensions everything else about it is the same yeah that's firing Whether you've got a 22mm 
Atty, that looks all right. Um, my dripper looks just fine. I'm not going to adjust that, there's a bit of a gap, but you know, even that's looking a bit like a rocket to the moon. But the reason I bought it, and the adjustment's going to be all out now, but the reason I bought it was for the sub tank. I have to adjust that because that gap. Thank you Vanilla Vapes for an excellent deal. Thank you VLS for an excellent product. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.